Okay, how to pass your algebra final. So this, uh, this video is um, really geared towards those students who have been struggling in algebra who really need to just do everything possible to pass the course. So I'm going to be kind of gearing this towards you folks out there, but um, everyone can benefit from, from this. So let's get right to it. And by the way, my name is John Zimmerman. And I taught uh, math, or I still teach math, uh, middle school through high school and beyond. So you're getting this right from a kind of inside teacher's uh, perspective on, on testing and kind of how tests are set up and what students can do to help themselves. So some of this um, advice is going to sound kind of crazy, but just kind of if you, if you don't have a plan and you're sitting at a D plus or a C minus, um, you definitely need to pay attention, okay? And then I'll plan uh, to pass your class. All right, so the first thing is don't try to study everything, okay? So you may not be doing that already, but you can't possibly study everything and, and, and uh, it's just not enough time, okay? So typically most students are, uh, will have about two weeks to study for their uh, final, maybe less. So clearly the name of the game is just study the things that, that you – Feel that you can do okay because you really want to get as many correct um, uh, points as possible so if you're trying to study the, the entire course you're really going to be spreading your your time th um, through so don't study everything so what should you study well most teachers give you some sort of um, final review sheet so focus on your teacher's final review sheet pay really careful attention so make sure you get that and kind of circle the things that you can do uh, on there. Like, it's like, well, maybe I could do this, that. And even if it's like 50% of the things on there you can do, that's better than anything. You still may be able to pass your final with just 50% of, um, you know, having a clue about, let's say 50% of the things are on there. So trust me, um, you don't need to answer every single question uh, correct. However, most final exams, okay, and there's exceptions, but most final exams are multiple choice. So in that uh, scenario, you definitely want to answer all questions, okay? Answer all questions. Um, so, you know, um, even if it's not multiple choice, try to show whatever amount of work um, uh, that you might know. Give your, give, te give your teacher some reason to have kind of mercy on you, okay? But don't leave anything blank. And, and this is even for those non-multiple choice questions, okay? Um, the next tip here is to spend your time on questions that you can do. So if you come to, you know, uh, a question on your final, okay, you need to be looking at the clock and say, well, I can, don't I even have a clue about this. If you don't even have a clue, quickly just guess and move on, Okay. Uh, so don't like read, reread, you know, spend more uh, a minute or two pondering that, hey, can I do this? Do I have a, a chance? Y you should know if you can do a problem, you know, you need to get right to it. Okay. So the last tip here is to use the answers to select the correct choice. This is a real powerful tip. And I'm going to show you something here in a second, what I mean um, here. So you should use the answer selections uh, to answer uh, or to find the correct choice. This is really, really um, helpful. So between this tip, okay, and just not trying to study everything, you have a real good chance of getting some sort of passing uh, grade on your finals. Let me show you what this uh, looks like. So let's suppose I have, just gonna make something up here. So let's say this is uh, the question and says, um, select the right answer for this quadratic equation. Let's say a x equals zero, x equals three. I'm just making something up here. B x equals one, x equals five. And let's say there are some other choices here. Now, um, this method is t will likely take you longer to do than trying to answer this question directly. But this is a, a surefire way of getting the right answer. Okay, so pay careful, careful attention. If on your final exam, your algebra final, you see an equal sign, any sort of equation, this can go for uh, linear equations, quadratic equations, systems, etc., even inequalities, okay? If you could do what I'm gonna show you um, here, then you can absolutely get the right answer. That's going to really increase your chances of passing. So all you need to do is to plug these answers in, okay, and and see if they work or not. So let's. How does that work? 
Okay, let's suppose I'm checking x equals 3 to see if this is a solution for this equation. All you need to do, okay, is you plug in 3 where the x's are at. All right, so here I'm going to do this here. And you need to go ahead and simplify, do the low arithmetic, do the math here. And what we want to do is basically check to see if when you do all this work, if it in fact comes out to be equal to the right hand side value, which in this case is zero. All right, so here, let's do this real quick. See how this works out. So remember the order of operations, I got to start here. So three squared, that's nine. So two times nine minus six times three is 18 plus three is equal to zero. So I have two times nine is uh, 18. So I have 18 minus 18 plus three equals zero. So 18 minus 18 is zero. So this came out to be three is equal to zero. Okay. So clearly the left-hand side does not equal the right-hand side. That's an indication or that's proof that this is not the answer. Okay. Now when it comes to quadratic equations, uh, you're always going to have two solutions, these type of when you have an x squared involved. So if this doesn't work, you can just skip that, okay? Skip this one and move on to the other um, choices you have. And always, always, always start with the easiest values um, uh, to check. In case of like 1, 0, those type of things. Don't check the most difficult answer first because oftentimes you'll, you'll uh, do this. This is critical. This will help you so much, not only on your algebra finals, but like on SAT or ACT or GED. So between this tip, let's kind of review the other tips, okay? Use your answers to select the correct choice. Huge, huge, important tip, okay? Spending the time on the questions you can do, all right? So if you see an equation, for example, you know, you would want to do what I just showed you to do, spend your time there. Nevertheless, on all multiple choice or any questions, answer everything, okay? And then don't try to study everything. Don't try to be a hero, okay? Uh, use that teacher, your, your teacher's final review sheet, and kind of use that. And by the way, pay careful attention. Um, teachers give away answers during their final. You just got to pay attention. They'll kind of, you know, give you like, they'll kind of blink their eye, say like, hint, hint, you know, this will be on there. So try to pick up on all that. And I'm telling you right now, if you're sitting on a, um, you know, a D, I can guarantee you that if you follow my uh, tips here, you'll pass, you'll pass. You may even pass with a C plus because your final exam um, is weighted uh, a lot. So good luck. Don't stress out, you know, but have a plan, okay? Have a plan. Focus on this. This is going to really, really help you, okay? Have a good day, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.